based on the 1960s family sitcom of the same title. This movie takes place prior to the events previously adapted in the series. It's serving as an origin of the characters, telling a story about how Herman was created, met Lily, and fell in love. It still maintains much of the classic goofiness and kitsch. It has decent production values. It's also got a solid cast full of genre veterans and familiar faces. Unfortunately, everything else is bad. It's all garnish and no meat. The filmmaker doesn't know how to write a proper script and has zero ability to structure a story. This movie lacks both the comedy and charm of the original series. The movie doesn't know how to tell a joke, blasting the few gags that might have work by underlining them three and even four times. The overly colorful and surreal visual style, combined with occasional animated sequences and wacky montage, feels like an attempt to make the film stand out, but instead feels dated and out of place. The movie is so bereft of real conflict, stakes, or twists. It's jammed with lots of unnecessary scenes, many of which are short and poorly edited to create a jarring narrative. There's not much to the plot as it leans in on the sitcom format, tossing Lily and Herman into wacky situations without much connective tissue. The movie bounces from scene to scene in a nomadic fashion, creating a montage of scenes that range in tone and style. Entire sections of plot seem to be missing, or at least gloss over. It takes the movie an hour to even get the characters out of the old country, and another 20 minutes to bring them to the States. By that time, the picture almost over, and the suburban satire has been reduced to an afterthought. There's not much to this origin story, and the incessant attempts to fill those blanks with comedic bits grow tiresome. The endless gags cannot fill in the blanks of a thinly sketched narrative. Most of the casting fails to hit the mark as well. This movie feels interminable at 110 minutes as it could have easily been just 45 minutes. The movie might have worked better in episodic format, but by cramming it all into one overlong movie, the movie struggles to find its rhythm from the start. It highlights just how little narrative meat is on its brittle bones and takes far too long to address origin story questions that modern audiences wouldn't ask. The disjointed aesthetics and tone only further confound. In the end, what's left is only few callbacks and easter egg references to the shows. This movie is simply a waste of time. We do not recommend this movie at all.